Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven. Today, I'm going to be answering a question that I got from my 90D Facebook group. If you have a 90D, come check it out. He sent me an image and he's like, I think something's wrong with my lens. He had a 135 prime, an F2. It's a great lens most of the time. And he's like, what is all this color fringing? Pixel peeping is kind of uh, something that will grow on you as you get more and more experience. I typically see it mostly when an intermediate photographer is becoming more advanced. They're noticing things like sharpness and vignetting. And chromatic aberration essentially is when we have a sharp area of contrast. So something very, very dark next to something very, very bright. And it's a color fringing. You'll see it as a purple or a blue. Sometimes you'll see yellow and green, just depending on, on what you're doing. The truth of the matter is most lenses have some degree of chromatic aberration. It's just that sometimes we can't see it. Another thing that everybody should know is that an easy way to get rid of it is to stop your lens down. So chromatic aberration typically goes away as we use smaller and smaller apertures. Now, the interesting thing about this image is that he did stop it down and he was wondering if something was wrong with his lens. And in the discussion that I had with him, we came to the conclusion that that wasn't normal. And I, I told him to go ahead and, and return it and to get another one. A prime lenses are usually pretty good as you stop them down. And another thing I have to point out is, and Canon's really great about this, is that they have lens profiles built into their cameras to clean up chromatic aberration. So in some cases it might be there, but you just don't see it right off the bat. And if you were to turn this off, you would see it in all of your JPEGs a lot more than you would when this feature is turned on. Something else I have to make you aware of is that Lightroom, Camera Raw, they have a chromatic aberration removal feature. So even if you do have it, you can import it and, and clean up a lot of this anyway. I know it's an extra step, but just keep in mind, if you take a great image and you have chromatic aberration, all is not lost, you can fix it. But in the end, yeah, if you're stopping your lens down and you're seeing it all over the place, probably a bad lens, I would return it, sometimes happens. So in any event, that is chromatic aberration, what it is, what it looks like, how to fix it. Thank you for your question, Chad. If you have a question for Michael the Maiden regarding photography, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.